Hello YouTubers, uh, Adam Guy here from A Guy Studios and today I'm going to invite you to join me really, that sounds, sounds for that, sounds, yeah, I'm going to invite you to join me for a trip, basically it's my first video of a, I don't know, probably five part, five video possibly series, uh, it's basically going to be the day, or the daily life of a trucker, uh, here on Euro Truck Simulator, um, like I said, this is my first video doing this sort of thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking a job here. This is my my truck, part of my company, A Guy Truckers. Uh, all of my trucks are green, um, which is obviously my favourite colour, as you can tell. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take in my lovely Volvo Globe Trotter XL. This. Uh, from here in Birmingham, which I'm currently parked at at the moment, Birmingham to Plymouth. I was going to do one of these jobs up here, but looking at them, they're quite long and the video could possibly take quite a bit of time to do this, obviously, while I'm recording as well. Um, so we'll go to Plymouth for the ice one, for the first one, taking some ice cream. Lovely. <laughs> So, not too bad. Right, so what we'll do is we'll set our destination as such. And we are, I don't know where we are, we're here. Right, this is my treat, my truck. Lovely, it's actually quite a nice truck. The truck. The trucks go on appearance, so we just get to my driving view. And we are. Right, uh, I am using a Xbox 360 controller to control this, so um, please don't be too sceptical of my driving, basically. Um, oh, that's a bit of a touch, the actual place we're getting the, um, get the engine going. Ooh, get them off, get the lights on. The actual place I'm going, it seems, is um, where I'm parked right now. Awesome. That's just saved a bit of time. Right, so what we'll do, we'll just drive forward, get our job. Uh, I do drive it in auto as well. I don't bother with the gears because I will cock it up, basically. Yes, we want to go to Plymouth, please. Right, so I might as well just go right back. This is just a guess, to be fair. No. <laughs> I've completely missed it. Okay. Okay. Let's see what yes. yes. There it is. Yes. Go people, let's go on this journey. Just turn. And we're off. Just focus on you when we are. Would not be advisable. Right. Let's 
Stoi. Jumping and jumping the line. Right, let's start with good and bad on your trucker, shall we say, as we're waiting to turn here at the lights. Good or bad? Um, personally, I love this game. <laughs> I never thought I would. Um, it's 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 awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Um, when I first heard about it, I was pretty much like, I'm not I don't wanna, I don't wanna play that. And ever since I've sort of said that, I've loved it ever since. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just turning bloody off. Um, I've loved it ever since, basically. It's uh, it's an awesome little game because you you can just drive around, sort of thing. You can just drive and, uh, you know, listen to your music. I normally run this with Spotify running in the background. Um, you can just drive, listen to your music, sort of do what you want to do, really. You know, just just listen to what you want to. Um, the mechanics of the game as well, I think, are very good. I mean, it does give, when you are driving uh, the lorries, it does give some sort of feel to the game um, that you are sort of driving something quite big and quite heavy like especially when you turn the corners you've got to make sure that you leave yourself enough room because you will catch the trailer you know and you don't want to be doing that um but as, as far as anything else it's a really good game i actually really enjoy it. i enjoy playing playing on it um haven't done on it any online stuff or anything like that with it because obviously i'm not really looking to do that i'm more just playing the game single player for my own use really it's just, I think it's just a lot better that way um, but yeah I, I love the game I think it's an, it's an awesome awesome game really it's it's pretty cool I like the way you can customise your trucks um, I like the way you can you know build up your own company and you hire basically you hire other drivers to drive for you um, yeah it's, it's awesome is absolutely awesome, you know. Especially when the, especially the hiring other drivers, you know, because obviously it, it allows you to generate mon mon money quicker and allows you to sort of build up your company quicker without you having to do all the, what are you doing now, 60, 65, so slow down a bit. Um, yeah, it means you don't have to do all the driving, basically. It's, um, it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, it's a pretty awesome little game to be honest with you. So it's good fun as well. Um, but yeah, basically, I'm just gonna. It's a good game. It is good fun. I like the way of, it's just, yeah, I just like it. <laughs> the only bad. Yeah, I can't say bad. The only bad thing about this game, really, um, is the AI on the drivers. I'd say the AI is a bit. It's okay. It's not bad on like motorways and sort of roads like this where all the traffic's moving sort of smoothly and everything like that. That's it's fine, you know. It's absolutely fine. I think the only problem is is when you're sort of on like small roads. So when you're driving around town and all the, all the town where your depot and that sort of stuff is, it's um they do tend to crash into you. Is the is the only way I can put that. They will crash. Um, sometimes it's annoying because obviously on track simulator one thing I have noticed is they do like to fine you for a lot of stuff as well. Instead of giving you warnings or stuff like that saying, oh, um, you know, don't do that again or something like you'll get fined next time. It's just instantly like, fine, fine. Uh, I suppose it's quite true. Uh, you do get fined for a lot of stuff for driving on the road. Um, I'm not actually driving in real life yet myself, but big part here, this game, believe it or not, actually helped me pass my theory test. 
that to do for Big Shot, it actually did. I'm actually learning to drive at the moment. And this game actually helped me pass my theory test. Not so much of um, the actual driving aspect of the game, but just more of the what to actually do on the road, <coughs> excuse me, such as road signs, um, sig tra traffic signals, this is just what I was doing here, um, traffic signals, road signs, road markings, um, they are all real sort of road markings. Um, so obviously, it helps you understand this where I was doing practicing my theory and then actually seeing them on the game it was almost the same as sort of practicing and then going out in a car, basically. It's the same sort of principle, if you think about it, really. So, it actually helped, believe it or not. It actually helped me to pass, and, you know, it's another leap or step forward towards actually driving in real life. I shouldn't be in the middle of that. Uh, yeah, it helps me drive, it helps me drive in real life. Um, I'm not saying that you should play this game and suddenly you think you can drive a real car, that's of course not the case. Um, I don't know what this game is like for steering wheel, like I said I don't have one, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller at the moment, um, which is, I think it's okay, I mean obviously it's not the same as using a wheel, let's be honest, the wheel's probably a lot better for a game like this, because obviously where the mechanics of this, the game is actually really good. <clears throat> warranting a steering wheel would probably make it even better, I'd probably say. Because it is a it is a good it's a good fun game really. Alright, <clears throat> don't look down at me sat nav. I have hundred and forty four miles to go. So we need to I think it's been the right hand lane to be honest, but be alright. Here you do have the option um, in case some people are, are, have have this game and actually, you know, this guy's doing more than basically. <coughs> if you didn't know, you can turn the limit off in the settings for trucks. So basically, your trucks are they restricted, all of them. So instead of sitting on the motorway at 55, which I think they were limited at, you can now do 70, 80. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing it on the motorway. One, if you get caught, you're going to get loads of speed and fines. And two, it's not very good when you've got a trailer on the back. When you haven't got a trailer, I can probably get about 90 out of this truck. Like, really giving it some uh, on a motorway. But actually, should we see this? Put the foot down. We're in the right hand lane. Let's see what we can get from standing on the motorway for some while at the moment. So, it gives me a bit of time. There's no real sharp lens. 65, we're racing now, down on the right hand side here, so try and hold to the apex, we need to keep it tight, the truck's going to start to get a bit wibbly wobbly when we get over, right, we're at 70, yeah, let's go, come on, it's going to burn fuel, burn the fuel, burn it, it's okay, I've got enough the end of the scale, 77, 78, Actually doing 80, so I'm usually speeding for a car. I was speeding in the lorry as soon as I exceeded 60. I think I'm pretty sure lorries can only do 60. I'm not sure. We're now 80, 83 miles. This hill's gonna kill 
light speed. I mean, this is certainly making the journey a lot quicker. Oh, I've just planted the foot. Oh, uh, it's gonna be like it, it, getting up the hill. Come on. That's a trap. There we go. I'm gonna get this little speed one out of the way before it goes completely dark as well. Holding the lane nicely though, it should probably be in the outside lane. But I'm gonna stay out in the middle lane for the moment. Sort of using two lanes, sort of. Yeah. We are flying. Seventy-seven. I think I have noticed on this game, though. I don't know if anyone else has playing it. There's no emergency services. There's no. Oh, I'm gonna have to slow down. To speed up, to speed up. Can't be taking these corners in a lorry at like eighty. Uh, especially the fact that I want to get to actually get to my destination without crashing or any damage or anything. Because that would just suck for you guys, watching that just suck crashing a lorry. Um, it says 60, but it's not really going to sit. I'll go back up to 60. Let's go down to 50. What is this game? See, another little thing there. The game, sometimes the speed zones can be a little bit dodgy, but apart from that, they're normally quite good. Um, blind everyone with full beam. Hi! <laughs> this is bad driving. Should really not be in the outside lane. 60, yes, it is. Power! This <laughs> lights up like the whole road near enough. You know, oi, oi, you can't be overtaking me. I'm speeding enough as it is. I'm going to just leave. I think it's 60 now. I really do not want to be trying to break the speed record at night on a road like this with no road lights, just on the headlights. <sighs> stop before I've done this journey well before I started recording actually so never mind never mind but yeah Cruise control, pimping me truck, me cruise control. Yep. That's a good thing about this game, though. You can do that on like motorways. Just uh, set your cruise control. for some monies. It is a good game though, people. If anyone's watching this going, this doesn't look much fun, trust me, it is. Like, for a game that you can just sort of chill out, you can drive, you can just sort of do what you want, it is actually a good game. I mean, you can obviously drive around like a nutcase if you really want to. 
won't do your bank balance or your driving status or anything like that any good. But initially, it would. Um... Oh, shut up, you gay. I'm tired. Still, oh, lane crossing there. A bit bad. It's... It's like, tells me this road. Um, I should have really stopped, but the problem is, if you stop, like, I'd rather take a fine of, I don't know what it is, 150 quid. And then now I'm going to get paid for my journey at the end. Whoa. 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 From 60 to 30, <laughs> it's like, whoa, break. Crawling through this bit. I hate the fuck this because the roads are so narrow. You want to try and squeeze your lorry off through without hitting anyone. Like, do you know what though? This game gives me <clears throat> a lot more, not so much respect for truckers, but it just gives you such an idea of what they do have to go through sometimes. And, you know what, I think it's actually a pretty cool little job, like, to be honest with you. I think this is a pretty fun job, you know, like, I work with customers day in and day out um, at, at my work, and this is just, you know, you're on your own, you've got your tunes, obviously I can imagine it can be quite boring, that I could, but then if you've got some good music going on and stuff like that, then you can always... Always make a moment of, you know what I mean, and not just that, like, you'll get to see different places of the world and, you know, constantly going from different country to country. And the thing is, it's in your own little truck as well, most of them are, I guess, in your own, it's in, like, your own truck. So, like, what more do you want? Like, it's in your own sort of... It's in like your own truck. I'm one minute away and I guarantee you I'm gonna get a fine. Because um I'm not sleeping. Hmm. I mean my next journey, I don't know what to do. Maybe if any of you have any suggestions. Put, in, put them in the comment section below, would be awesome. Give us an idea of where you'd want to see me drive. Um, obviously, I thought I'd just do a small one to begin with because I didn't know one how the video was going to go. Well, like I said, I've never done this before. Um, like a sort of full, obviously, I've done flight sim videos, but as any of you know that played flight sim, they're a little different to the trucks and all Hence, one of them you're flying a bloody plane, <clears throat> and the other one you're driving a massive lorry. So, right, we've actually arrived at our destination. I want to take the one with the helicopter. That's my next job off camera. <laughs> the one with the helicopter. Come on. I don't care where it's going. I'm driving it there. Oh, no, no, no. The only thing I'm probably quite shady at is reversing, I'd say. These things are not the easiest of things to learn how to park. And for that, I'm just going to hit enter because it's only an extra 45 points if you park it. So it's not a big deal. I'm still going to level up anyway. Yep. Awesome. Right. So, anyway, without further ado, I will say thank you very much for watching. I'll do this later. Right, here we are. Right. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, obviously, if you can like, comment, and subscribe, that would be awesome as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, this is my first sort of take on a video like this, so I don't really know how it's turned out, what you guys think of it. If you think I could have done it better, then tell me. If you think I could have done stuff differently, then tell me. I'm open to all ears. Anyway, thank you very much. My name is Adam Guy from A Guy Studio. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.